So, without any further ado, finally we have a speaker who's here, which is great. So, welcome Alina from Imagimob. And uh, I think your mic and everything is okay. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. So, let's see how it works in life. And we see your slides. You don't have to ask. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Alina and I'm Tiny Machine Learning Solution Manager at Imagimob. And today I'm excited to share some real life use cases and why a leading semiconductor company decided to work with us in the, in the area of Tiny AI. Sorry. But first some introduction about us. We are a 100% Swedish based company founded in um, uh, 2013, so we have experience for more than nine years. We developed a machine learning end-to-end -end, uh, platform for embedded devices that is used by data scientists to uh, bring uh, uh, models from data collection to uh, deployment in a matter of minutes. We are pioneers in embedded machine learning. And we are extremely active in the Tiny ML Foundation. We just returned recently from the Tiny ML Summit uh, in San Francisco. Our CEO present here uh, attended and uh, showcased some uh, use cases. And we are strategic uh, member of the advisory board of the Tiny ML Foundation. And we are heading up the Swedish chapter of Tiny ML Talks. We drove more than 40 uh, AI, uh, AGI projects, and we have customers worldwide in um, Europe, North America, and Asia. So the fact shows that the future of AI is actually uh, AGI, and the difference between cloud AI and AGI is that the AI processing is done on these uh, small, uh, tiny devices, like sensors. And with this, uh, it comes some benefits of developing and deploying, deploying um, machine learning on resource, such resource constrained devices, such as security, because the data doesn't leave the devices and extremely low latency because all the predictions are uh, happening instantane instantaneously on devices. And of course, companies uh, experience ex uh, reduced costs because you don't need to uh, transfer and store the data in the cloud. So that's why we built an end-to-end -end, uh, machine learning platform, which is a SaaS solution. And uh, we support all the um, model, model process building from data collection to data uh, annotation to model um, validation, model training, and uh, model deployment. Our platform allows you to convert H5 files or uh, Python files to C source code in, in, through the click of a button. So that's why companies experience lower costs and we don't offer any um, fee per device. And of course, companies get to have full ownership of the, of, and control of their intellectual property uh, by building in-house models. So now let's move into the topics of today. The challenge of uh, the semiconductor companies is on how to increase the value of their sensors because data isn't worth anything without putting it in, into the right context. So sensors produce a lot of raw data uh, and a lot, actually a lot of noise. But the question is how to collect this data, how to better make an, how to make a better understanding on the, on this data, and how to label it. So uh, that's why um, building intelligent applications can increase the value of sensors, and. Um, this is what we did. Uh, we worked with uh, our partner, a uh, successful American company, Texas Instruments, and we built um, uh, intelligent, uh, um, use intelligent applications and for increasing the uh, and improving the uh, life uh, the, the life of our um, products and the, of our life. So uh, Texas Instrument contacted us a year ago and we work with more than 30 engineers from their team. 
And now they are using internally, internally our uh, uh, platform for developing applications. We developed four applications in four different areas such as fall detection, uh, gesture detection, ma material detection, and object detection by different teams from China, US, or UK. So now I'm going to uh, deep dive into the use cases. And uh, the first one is the fall detection inside of your home. Yes, and I'm going to show a short video of 40 seconds. And here is our colleague testing the fault uh, detection algorithm built on uh, Texas Instruments sensors. And here you can see that the fall is triggered only after the, uh, the user is lying for a few seconds. Here you can see that in, in the um, uh, upper uh, left corner, fall one is detected. And the innovation is that we used, we used a sensor radar instead of an accelerometer. So uh, the advantages is that privacy is maintained, so no camera or cloud is used. And the challenge is, is to distinguish between sit down and falling. So the engineers broke down uh, the movement fall and lying um, into two. So uh, the millimeter wave radar sensors are are detecting a point cloud instead of a person's identifiable feature. So it can be used in sensitive areas like uh, a shower, a bedroom, or a bathroom. The, the second um, uh, use case that we made with the Texas instrument were, was gesture detection. And today we have um, different options for um, controlling the in-cabin of a car, like button, knobs, touch screens, but this, this can, uh, can, can uh, actually provoke accidents uh, when driving. So gesture-based uh, solutions can, can help keep a driver's attention on the road. So uh, gesture can be used to perform many function, functions uh, when driving, like opening a car, answering phone calls, or changing the uh, previous or next song. With uh, our gesture detection algorithm, we identified four gestures, clockwise turn, counterclockwise turn, left to right swipe, right to left swipe. And an important aspect is the algorithm ignores uh, any other random gestures. The third use case that we made uh, with Texas Instrument was material detection. And we can see here in the left uh, picture that the AI model distinguishes between two different uh, surfaces like uh, a towel and uh, in the second uh, picture on the right um, side, uh, it, uh, it shows a desk. So this use case can be used in real life like um, um, when, when you are using a, a lawn mover when to detect surfaces like uh, grass, asphalt, or concrete. Uh, we, we also made the object detection, and in this case, uh, it was to detect the head. We used the radar for identifying the head um, through the uh, movements of uh, different objects like a hand or a mug. And uh, this use case can be used in smart lamps or directional audio for gamers or security when for counting the number of heads in a camera without filming them or uh, for ro robotic applications. As a summary, we, this is what we do. We add intelligence to sensors and we have a great partnership with uh, Texas Instruments. They are the third largest semiconductor company in the world with more than 35,000 employees. And, and now they are currently using our platform and licensing the ImageMob end-to-end um, -end platform. Uh, we also provide uh, full uh, professional services. So uh, the engineers from Texas Instruments, they're uh, developing the applications uh, with support from our experts. And currently we have other discussions with um, of, uh, large uh, customers like Hitachi or um, uh, Bellpal uh, and we believe that our long-term partnership with uh, Texas Instrument will revolutionize the tiny ML area. 
For using our platform, feel free to try it. Uh, we offer a 30 uh, days free trial. Uh, thank you for your attention and I'm happy to network uh, more and during uh, uh, the, the break and after the, the event. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank Aline. you. So, if you take no questions here, I think you should approach Alina during the coffee because now is the break. That's also an important part of all marathons that we have strict breaks 